How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing and boot review video of the 90 Mpo 10 Pro Editions. These are the middle tiers and currently costing around roughly 120 to 130 euros a pound. A very nice and comfortable pair of boots to go for, especially if you're looking for a nice uh, control boot that has that kind of slim like speed boot feel to it as well. Uh, more of a creative type player, then these are the boots for you. These ones are much more streamlined and more lighter than the last year's Tempo 9s. So if you're looking for a lighter boot that has kind of more of a resemblance to the Night Magistas of the Opus editions, um, then these are the ones to go for. To me, these are more of a remake of those. And the main difference between these pros to the Elite tiers would be the heel area. It has a much more softer cushion than the uh, Elite's. These ones reside more with the academies in terms of the material of the heel being very easy to bend over. Um, the only thing is if you get you know stamped on at the back of the heel, you're going to feel it a lot more than the wearing the elites as the elites have a more thicker material offering a bit more protection. Um, the sole plate wise is more similar to the academy tiers, although the stud patterns is exactly the same as the elites. And then the material on the upper, we don't really find too much difference between these and then the Elite tiers, it still has the fly touch, um, so it's very, fairly similar. Maybe there's more um, emphasis in terms of a thicker material on the like the dots on the fly touch and also the overall materials on the upper. But apart from that, that is the only difference between the two. So if you don't want to pay you know, full win for the Elite tiers, you can go for these Pro Editions, which is very similar like the Elites. You're gonna save 100 to 110 euros or pounds and then you can spend another 10 pounds or euros on the string bag, which doesn't come with the Pro Editions, so you can always get yourself a pair of those, um, but you'll save a lot more money than the Elites. So highly recommend it to people that haven't got a budget or just don't want to spend top end, are only gonna be playing it maybe once or twice a week and won't be playing it all the time. These are very nice Tiempo 10 um, editions to go for, and also the fact that you don't really wanna to go too low of the Academies, as you want a boot that feels premium, Elite, in the middle, then these ones are the ones for you. Now, in terms of sizing, it can fit all feet types, uh, but if you have wide and very wide feet and you've tried on the various sizings and you still find it's not too comfortable, we recommend going for the Phantom Luna 2s or the Phantom uh, GX 2s, which is much more accommodating for your feet types. We've done reviews on the Pro Editions of those as well, so make sure to check it out. But back to the reviews. So if you have narrow feet, we recommend going a half size down maybe one full size down if you have very narrow feet, so do adjust it according to that. Best idea is actually to go to your local football boot store and try on the sizing, or order two pairs online, half size down, one full size down, and then just return the one that doesn't fit you as well for your narrow feet. For normal feet, we recommend a half size down, that should be fine, shouldn't need to alter the sizing. If you want a bit more leeway and space once you down up the laces, then perhaps go true to size, but we feel like that's gonna be a bit too much space. For wide feet, we recommend true to size to a half size up. Try both on and then return the one that doesn't fit as well. And for very wide feet, a half to one full size up with these two sizes and then work your way from there and find the right fit for you. Sole plate wise is very nice, gives you very nice stability and um, traction when you're moving around both surfaces of FG and AG, 3G, 4G pitches. Do give them at least, as we always recommend, two weeks out of the box use. Training by yourself, doing some technical stuff, kick ups, shooting or training with a few friends, doing some fitness work as well before you take them to team training or matches. That way the material will soften up and you're used to the boot material, the boot sizing and the shaping and it'll be, help you out in terms of the small details in terms of performance. Now don't wear these on you know, the likes of 2G grounds, sand grounds. It's too flat, too hard or too concrete. Go for the turf editions of the Tiempo 10 Pros which we've done a review on our channel. Exactly the same boot, just a different sole plate will be better for the, for your feet and also stop the chance of breaking these plastic studs, reducing the durability. Talk about durability on previous editions of the Tiempo 10s, still going very strong, haven't had any issues whatsoever, no major damages or wears and tears, so that's very nice in that end. You're gonna be paying a pair of boots that's gonna last you at least one to two years, maybe more depending on how often you use them. If you're using them once or twice a week, they're definitely gonna last you at least one year, two to three years even more as well. Make sure to also leave a comment down below in this video in terms of what size you are, what feet type you have, and what pros and cons you found about these Tiempo 10 Pros. 
uh, Tiempo Tempros. It doesn't have to be this colorway, it can be from a previous colorway too. Uh, your feedback and in the comment section has shown to really help out people in terms of making a decision to see if these boots are for them, if they're transitioning from a different pair or they just want to upgrade from the Tiempo 9s. The reviews on the comments have really helped people out too. So please continue on doing so. But if you've made it to the end of this video, we want to thank you for watching this unboxing review and to continue support as, we, as this week we've reached 15k subs. So a very nice milestone to hit before the end of the year. And again, we thank you all for the continued support, liking and subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future. All the very best and take care. Music